Hello, welcome to the free show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Battle Brothers. This is the Steam Early Access version, which will release on April 27th. So if you guys like what you see and you want to go check it out and you want to grab it for yourself, just a few short days wait, guys, and then you will have it in your hands. I know that's a tough one. Like I told you guys in the very first video, I've been waiting for this for months. I have been talking it up for weeks, and it's finally time to get after it. So I want to make you guys aware that I am not going to be reading a lot of this flavor text. If I see something really cool and I want to read it, I will. If not, then I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to read what I need, like Duncan Wald is north and west of here, and it's worth 270 crowns as my little adventure. And apparently that is the only adventure I can take. This one's only 250, so yeah, we're obviously going to go with the one worth 270. That's to the exact same place, so there's no reason not to do that. Additionally, I'm not going to get any more Battle Brothers yet. I should probably do that, but I'm not going to yet. And I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff that I do not want to keep around. So I think with all of that, I'm going to buy up the two Gambesons. And I'm going to buy up the Akaton helmet, I guess. I'm going to buy a quiver of arrows so we can actually have a ranged individual if we need it. Additionally, I would like to buy maybe a club, some food, and some bandages. And then with that, we'll, we'll leave it alone. We're going to outfit our boys right now, make sure we have everything we can have on them. Alright, the Gambeson's going to go on you. You're already set with everything that I want you to have, I think, except a shield. But I'm not going to put the shield on you, actually. I'm going to put the shield on Oliver. I kind of looked at what was available, guys, so I, I kind of have an idea of what's going on right now. So we're going to go here, we're going to put the hat on him, we're going to put the new hat on this guy. That's all well and good, we're going to swap that out, we're going to put the buckler up on Kurt. Kurt's going to get the buckler. Don't forget, folks, I want you to go and, you guessed it, sign up so you can actually join in on this game, wonderful fun stuff guys I want you to be part of my battle brothers the bumpies battlers so sign up in video one or episode one of the video and I will add people by episode three hopefully if enough of you sign up and you guys can keep signing up I mean there's gonna be a lot of murder and death I'm sure a lot of people won't make it so please be aware of that you very 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 possibly will die more than likely you will die just saying I'm just saying it is a thing that is probably going to happen Likewise, we're going to go and put the padded surcoats up over here, and I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Alright, so we're going to, I guess, repair that, and if you want to know how to repair stuff in-game, it requires your uh, supplies, but, or your tools and supplies, or whatever it's called, um, you hold Alt and you right-click and you can repair stuff. So I'm actually going to do that right now. And I'm going to close that out. I'm going to sell this and this and I guess these two things. And there we go. Everything already on your characters will actually sell automatically. So Duncan Wald is way up there. Or Dunkel Wald. Alright, so we're going to actually go way over there and I guess that's going to be our first deal. So there's going to be some delivery missions. There's going to be some sleigh missions. There's going to be some missions where you just have to find like a place like a den of evil and then return and you get money for it. There's going to be random creatures that roam the the patrol paths, the streets, the uh, forest. I mean, there's going to be a lot of stuff that are just coming up to make your life miserable. So you could be doing fine and then just get completely, totally, and utterly wrecked. Just saying. Just saying. It could happen, guys. It could happen. All right. There's a little bit of a coffee cough action. We're going to go take a look at the woodcutter's home. And apparently it's got some weeder gangers, two different types of weeder gangers, I guess, and a ghoul, so some undead. Definitely don't want to mess with them if we can help it. We'll continue on our little path here. And for some free cash monies, all we got to do is make it to Duncanwald. Hopefully nothing comes after us. There's a forgotten ruin over here. Let's go take a peek at this. And it looks like there's some young orcs. Hmm, if we had eight Battle Brothers decked out a little bit more, I'd consider it, but I don't think so right now. Maybe after we deliver whatever item it is that we're carrying up to Duncanwald, and we hire a few more Battle Brothers, maybe we'll be in a position to do that, but for right now, I don't think it's a wise course. 
So we're going to stay our current course and see what we can find. I'm going to try to cut the corner here. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea or a bad idea. I think it's going to be about even. I'd like to go check out Furlangan as well. But there's no telling if there's going to be anything good there or not. One thing I would like to see uh, the developer actually do, it would just be something cool for me. I, I'm imagining a few other folks would like to see it as well, but for me, I like to be able to see once I click, like maybe an indicator of how I'm going to path. So like maybe a couple dots and then like a big dot at the end where I'm going to actually end up at. That way I know exactly where I clicked. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's definitely not a deal breaker. Ooh, bandit raiders definitely don't want to deal with them. So we're not going to go to the hermit's cottage. That sounds like a death trap. So, just saying, guys, that's something I'd like to see. I mean, again, maybe other people would like to see it, maybe other people don't care. But I like to actually see where I'm heading, if that's at all possible. Alright, so it is daytime. During nighttime, there will not be people in these shops. So I'm going to buy a couple of those. I'm going to buy a new hat as well. And it looks like that's going to be about it. There's a short sword I could buy, too, but I think we're good. So we're going to actually outfit... Theo with a shield, and we're going to outfit, I guess, Abjorn with a shield as well. Additionally, we can throw a buckler on our archer at this point. So Bjarni is now decked out with a buckler as well when he switches over, which may or may not be good, I don't know. Well, we'll see, I suppose. And a hat. So the hat on Kurt. Kurt the Deserter. He's actually probably one of our better people. Well, maybe not, actually. Eh, he's, he's not bad. Our original three battle brothers are a little bit better than all of them, but, y you know. Alright, let's continue onward. So I'll probably let this episode go maybe 20-ish minutes or so. Hopefully we get into a fight. If not, well, you know, we're just going to be roaming around getting some, some cash monies, some fat loots on, and just kind of exploring the world. If you guys want to take a look... Oh, hold on. There we go, 270 crowns. We're going to pause it. The world is quite large. There is a lot going on, and there's going to be a lot more implemented. Right now, there's only a handful of towns and just various things that you can do. Only so many. A lot of them are run to this town, run to that town, find this place, kill these guys, kill this, defend a caravan. There's a, there's a lot of stuff to do, but there's not a ton just yet. But that's all going to come in time, folks. It's all going to come in time. Remember, Steam Early Access, they have plans for being on Early Access, I think, for roughly a year. And they also have very distinct and clear-cut goals they have in mind with what they want to accomplish with their game. So, you can always check that out if you guys are curious. Alright, what do we have here? We have another shield. I will buy that. I'll buy another one of these new hats. There's a hatchet there. I don't really care for that. Another really nice hunting bow. And everything else seems to be kind of meh. Alright, so we'll leave that, and we'll go over here and we'll check out uh, the Battle Brothers. We have double Olaf's. We have Olaf the Bowyer. Yeah, there's my boy right there. I'm going to hire him up. Expensive dude, but we're going to hire him. And then Olaf, what is he? A day tailor. I don't, I'm not sure what that is exactly, but we're going to hire him too. There we go, and then we're going to leave, and then we're going to go here. And hopefully there's going to be some easy missions for us, though, knowing my luck, not so much. We can sell that. We can probably sell that, too. Alright, what has he got? He's got relatively low hit points. Ah, I guess it's about normal hit points. He's got about average hit points. A day tailor doesn't really tell us anything about him. There's no background. Um, we can give him a shield, and we can give him a club or an axe. Let's give him an axe. And let's give him a helmet as well. The only downside is we have no armor for him right now. Which is okay. Alright, so we're going to roll with that. And then Olaf, the bowyer. We'll give him a club in case he starts getting beat on. He gets, ooh, an experience gain and range skill bonus. And he's determined. We'll start with confident morale bonuses. Very nice. Okay, and then what do we have here? Reach Menarkin, that's a pretty far distance travel. I don't think I want to do that one yet, if I can help it. I don't think we can destroy that place. And Reach Furlangan. Well, we wanted to go check that place out, so let's go and do that one. Okay, we're going to head back and try to deal with Furlangan. Hopefully we don't get jumped along the way. I mean, we're pretty low on resources right now. We have enough for one more day past this, so let's hope we can make it back to Furlangan in time. 
I think we will be able to, but I'm not sure. There's a caravan going on right there. I mean, I, I don't think we can raid it ourselves. It doesn't look like it. I mean, uh, not necessarily like we would want to, but I know some people will be like, let's kill the caravan and rob what they have. I think that'd be a pretty cool feature to add. I mean, maybe you want to play like more of a dark, evil type character. I don't know. It's fine, guys. It's totally fine. There's a lot of stuff planned for this, and I'm pretty excited to see what they have in store for me. So I'm I'm in like I'm on cloud nine right now. There's a ton of things that I'm just absolutely enjoying going on on my channel. Things I like playing. I really do like Lords of Shulama. I really do enjoy playing Telepath Tactics. I mean, there's just so many games that I'm enjoying, and now this is finally here. Oh, it's like I've hit the lottery for video games. I'm super duper excited. I gotta say, of all the games I play, XCOM's actually not one of the ones I'm super in love with right now. Just saying. Just saying, there we go. Well, we got some free cash monies there. Not much, but free. And apparently my voice was starting to fade, so I apologize for that. Reach Hamruden, maybe. 210 crowns. What else do we have? Reach Hamruden, 240 crowns. And raise the abandoned walls, 800 crowns, which probably means it's beyond our capabilities. Do we have any kind of armor we can buy here? We can buy a padded surcoat. And I suppose I will actually get that. And I suppose that's about it. I mean, the food's actually fairly cheap here too, but I think we're going to have to stock up. So let's do that. Let's, um... Let's get Olaf the padded surcoat. And let's take a look here. How much longer before our people are healed? 14 more hours. And they want us to get to... Hamruden, huh? 240 is our goal here. So let's take a look. What was that? Where is Hamruden? Well, that's not that far away. I mean, it's not super close, but I think that's a, 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 a journey we can definitely make. So let's see if we can't make that journey, and we'll go with uh, this guy. This guy's actually got gold in his hands. I like that, so go ahead, man. Give it to me. Also, let's take a look. I'm not going to hire anyone, but I'd like to see who's here. We have a servant, and we have Hans the Minstrel. Ooh, I kind of wish we had a minstrel right now. Eh. Bring me with your men who clatter and clamor, and let us go and bid farewell, bid, and bid fear a farewell to remember. It rhymes. Not, not really. Clamber and remember, they don't really rhyme. It's, it's, it's fine, buddy. It's fine. That might be the funny part of it. Alright, so let's get our butts moving. Let's not waste any more time with me reading the uh, fun minstrel things. So even the backstories to the different characters are actually quite funny. You guys should definitely take a look at each and every one. And then write an essay on it and tell me which is your favorite. No, you don't have to write an essay, guys. I assure you, there is no essay. Well, there could be. Maybe. Extra credit? It could be like, uh, what is it? Whose line is it anyway? Where the, uh, everything's made up and the points don't matter? Huh? Huh? Yeah? No? Okay. Totally fine. All right, well, we're going to continue over here. We're basically, right now, we're not Bumpy's Battlers. We're Bumpy's Messenger and or Courier Service. That's what we are right now. We've had one battle, it went okay, it didn't go super good, it didn't go super poorly. No one died, and that's kind of the most important and crucial thing, I would say. And I think I'm getting lost. Where do I need to go? No, I'm not. I'm on point. Okay, well, we have enough money to probably last another two days? No, only one more day. So, ooh, we're gonna have to go up through there, huh? Do I dare get that close to the forest? Oh, I don't like going through the forest at night, guys. It's making me nervous. I might try to sidestep it. Oh, God. Ugh. Where's Burland Castle? Where's that at? I don't know. I'm just going to cut over the, the little hills here. I don't see Burland Castle anywhere, but apparently there is one, and there was a patrol for it, so... Well, things have uh, gone pretty good for us so far. We're about to get paid again, which is excellent. We can definitely use the money. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, who do we have here? We have Alvar. We have Karsten. We have Halstein. We have Erland. We have Alder the Luckmaker. He's a gambler. And we have Rolo the Vagabond. 
I like these guys. I like them a lot. Alright, well, we're going to leave with what we have. Let's check uh, this real quick. Another hat we could get. Let's stay with what we have. Let's see if we can't find something that won't get us killed. That might be a little bit different. Oh, that's a very expensive one. Where is this Tadoran? There's no way. That's way too far. If we could do that, we would be set, though. I'll tell you what. Reach for... Yeah, we can do that one, probably. And then what's this? Reach Minarkin. Um, which one's worth more? Oh, sorry. Not that one. Um, this one... 220 for Langan. Let's take a look real quick. Where's Menarkin? Oh, there's Berlin Castle. Okay. We can go down this way. To, yeah, why don't we do that? We'll just might as well continue to kind of just walk around and enjoy life. So just kind of see all the sights that we can see and then we'll leave it at that. And if we get into more nasty combat, well, so be it, I guess. I guess I'll follow him up into the uh, into the tree line here. Not super thrilled about it, but it is what it is. And if we can make it down to Menarkin, I think that's going to be it for this episode, folks. I know not a ton of stuff happened, but you got to get that little bit of cash money, that little bit of buffer, so you can actually buy some stuff and outfit your folks correctly. And if we run across like some weak, um, I don't know, something weak, we might actually be able to fight it, but. As it stands right now, we really haven't come across too much. I was hoping to maybe find like a, a, a weak thieves den or something along the way. That we could like jump into and deal with, but it's not looking very good for us. Um, I think there's werewolves at Rome and like hunting packs out here. I mean, there's all sorts of nasty stuff, so... If you guys think I'm being overly cautious and I'm just trying to avoid fights that I should be able to take... That's not the case. You guys are pretty weak at level 1. Probably pretty leak, pretty leak, pretty weak at level 2 and 3 as well. But we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully we're going to be able to make it to the place. We're pretty close. I haven't really seen anything pop up yet. Uh, aha! There's a frenzies, frenzied axe's den. Hopefully nothing comes out of this. I'd just like to see it. There's some young orcs in there. We might actually come back and deal with that after we visit Menarkin. So that might be episode three, guys. Well, hopefully we'll have some people that I can name in that episode. And yeah, we'll go and we'll deal with the Frenzied Axe Den, especially if we get a mission to do so. So let's go see what's here at Menarkin, and then we'll break off the episode. Okay, reach Dornan. That's 110. Uh, no thanks. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so there is one to actually destroy it. And 660 crowns. That's okay. And then do you have one to destroy it too? No. Reach Dornan, and then what do you have? Reach Dornan as well. So, if we get enough uh, people and we outfit ourselves properly, we might actually be strong enough to be able to deal with it. There's no guarantee. What is this guy? A squire? Oh, look, sir. Heedlebrant. Uh, Brant. Heedlebrant. Um, we have Arnie the Peddler. We have Gerald. Or Gerald. We have Rolo again, and Bernhard. He's a day tailor. We have oh, 370 for that guy. I'd really like to get him if I could, but I just don't see it being worth it. And then a Grave Digger again. I don't feel like they are amazing. Um, 100 gold for him. What is this guy? Peddler? Maybe I'll get the Peddler. And then we'll take a look at what he actually has. Oh gosh, he's terrible. Oh, he's so bad. Okay, he's got good melee defense and range defense but terrible melee skill he's got a lot of maximum fatigue reduction but he's got more hit points and he's got a little bit more melee defense so he can tank like a boss but that's about it and even that's not that high I mean he is definitely <laughs> he's definitely weak sauce I mean he's got terrible stats everything about him is bad well that's not good um I guess I'm just going to throw a bow on him and make him only slightly better than he actually is right now. I mean, if we can keep him safe and he can land like one arrow in the entire fight, I mean, that's something, right? I mean, he's at least doing something for our cause. I'm also going to try with Bernhard. I'm so... Oh. I'm going to give that a shot and then we're going to go and we're going to take a look at what he has to offer. He's got a club at least and he's got additional hit points. Okay, well, it's not, he's not 
bad. Actually, he's pretty good. He's got decent melee skill. Bernhard, like a boss, completely crushing the other guy. Let's make him naked. Yeah, naked man. Don't really care about the naked man part. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go out. We're going to leave. And we're going to sell those items. And then we're going to be like... Well, crap, there's nothing here for us at all. This place is god-awful and terrible. And then we're going to be sad. So what we're going to do, instead of leaving right away... Oh, getting to the castle is going to be such a pain. Well, I think we're going to have to just roll out with what we have. So what is it that we actually do have right now? We have anybody with, like, an extra weapon that's not terrible? Didn't I give a club to someone? I did. I gave a club to our archer. So our archer is not going to get the club. And we're gonna... I really wish we could... Oh, I'm so depressed. I really wish we could have gotten, like, some decent armor. Oh, wait, we have a... Oh, I put the club there, that's what happened. I really wish we had some decent armor on one of our people here, but it just doesn't seem like that's gonna be the thing. Um, I guess we'll take it off of our archer, maybe? Because in theory, our archer shouldn't be getting shot, right? So... So, in theory... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a totally naked archer. It's so bad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Bjarni. But you are a jester, so you are the comic relief. Alright, folks. That's gonna do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, I was really hoping the shop was a little bit better stocked than this. I mean, the food supplies aren't necessarily a, a real bad price. Everything else kind of hurts us, though. There's nothing really great here for us. I mean, we can get the sackcloth back, but I don't want to buy it back, so... That's going to do it, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. In the next episode, we're going to try to deal with the frenzied thing of death, maybe. Don't know. It seems kind of scary. I'm, I'm very hesitant to do it, but if we can manage it somehow, miraculously, it'll be awesome. Don't forget to sign up in Video 1, Episode 1 of this LP, and I will definitely see you guys tomorrow with more Battle Brothers. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquickums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will... See you later.